what is up guys welcome back to another episode here with me ras so um i was browsing through the uh one of the facebook pages for dcs and i found that there was someone asking for comments on this mission it is called the bridge with the f-18 hornet and just to put it right here here it is. It is, um, this is the person that created it. And if you see here, um, he had nobody to test mission, the mission. So I figured, Hey, why not? Let me, um, help him out. Since I've been doing content, I figured I can give him a hand, give him some feedback, play it, record it. And, um, Send it off to him to see how he likes it. He has the readme file. The readme file is reads like this. Let me find it real quick for you. <clears throat> so I pull it up here. And before you play, the mission depends on triggers. The triggers require a certain frequency to start. Check the frequency shown in the kneeboard and the title and the flight plan. Uh, you will be asked to create a new waypoint using precise grid coordinates. Ignore the heading the ATC gives you when inbound. <clears throat> the frequencies are already in channel for COM1 and COM2, but for some reason you must manually insert wizards frequency so i think on his description he talks about he was um, having some issues with the uh mission uh builder um or it could have been another one i have to read it again but anyways task caucasian insurgents stationed in russia side are planning to cross the borders between russia and georgia to create trouble in georgia your task is striking two bridges near the shoreline to block the access. The strike will coordinate between you and Diego 2-1. I like the pictures that he uses. So this one's super nice. Uh, threats, no aerial threats. Um, maybe some AAA. And these are the waypoints. That's the flight plan starting here. Bam, bam, bam. Target on waypoint five, come back waypoint 10, call it a day. <laughs> Tells you to check in with wizard on waypoint one and check in with Diego on waypoint three. This is going to be your loadout, two aim nines, mics, two aim 120 Charlies, uh, two GBU tens, the laser guided and the lightning target pod, right? Uh, you got two bags of fuel. What else? And your frequencies. Uh, Coboletti. We got, um, no, he put custom in there. VHF 124.5. TAC and 72 X ray. Wizard is 256.8, and Diego is 247.3. So, gives you, uh, ATC is on frequency 1.2. 124.5 da, 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 da. you must obtain authorization before all aircraft movements which i think this is pretty cool um because there is another readme file which says that um if you do not contact atc for departure and landing the mission ends and you fail so that i think is cool we're gonna jump on the mission see how it is i am gun i think the, the plan is be obviously before moving and everything i'm gonna program the frequencies that he talks about and that way it's easy to adjust with my control panel since i got com one com two and i binded the the turning of the com one <clears throat> radios to change the channels so for channel one channel two channel three we're going to change those 
uh, make those presets to those specific uh, frequencies that he, he put, that he selected, that he designated. Make it a little bit easier on us. And uh, also, it says that you have to um, input 10. Uh, what's it called? Let me see. You will be asked to insert 10 linear grid coordinates. You have to press precise button on the H HSI before inserting the coordinates. So this is something new that I haven't done before. So it's cool. I will learn how to do it first and then <clears throat> I will uh, load the mission and get it going. See how we do. And I hope you like it. So without further ado, we're going to get to the mission in three, two, one. Alrighty, guys. So here we go. This is where I like to have it. Got some helicopters going. Humvees moving. Truck, I think. All righty. So I'm not gonna lie. I played it a few times. Had to make sure that I got what we were doing right. Um, tested out some of the things came to realize that um, maybe there was an update and it wasn't put on the readme file about having to input all the waypoints. I tried it once, but the waypoints are already on there. So I don't know why we had to input them. So I tried flying it without putting them in and nothing happened. Everything flew the same, everything worked the same. So. With that being said, we're not going to put the, the waypoints on precise or anything like that. Um, we do have to make sure we let ATC know when we're taxiing, when we're taking off, and when we're landing. I haven't gotten to the landing part yet, but... So, let's get this on. Canopy down. Perfect. All right. We have both engines going. That's the routine I do. If it's wrong, feel free to let me know. No harm, no foul. That's why we're doing this to learn together. I'm just going through the process of what I normally do when I start up the plane. So getting that. We got this ready. Five, bring this down. Point fifty, save and return. <clears throat> get that, get that hood on. Perfect. What else do we have? Flap down, gear down. All right. Seems like we are all almost set. HSI. <clears throat> we have 43 seconds 40 40 seconds perfect if you if you hit this button when on ground it speeds up the INS um, calibration see so while we wait on this Look at that, nine seconds already. A 
let's mode CCIP it. You use instant, and then the code because we have the uh, D pod. We have to hit code right here, and it's 1688. Took it, <clears throat> but remember it took it here, but it did not take it here. So if you hit step, brings it over here. Code is still on there. 16188. Enter. It took it there too. Perfect. So we got that done. Now, down here, let's put the fuel. We got two uh, bags on each wing. None on the center. That's okay. That's more than enough fuel for what we need. It says okay right here. So we're going to contact not ATC, but other request taxi. <coughs> While we request NC, this is level one one request taxi to runway devil one to one this is the atc you are cleared to taxi to runway 07 07 so if you look here on your map you can see that 07 is taking off from this side and from this side it is two five so let's go Oh, forgot parking. There we go. <clears throat> Couple eight tens there. All righty, so this mission. Let's get this going the map. I bring it down to 10 roughly and we're, we're starting at waypoint zero and we're gonna put it on auto which is well, I like it when doing the auto you got to make sure you hit waypoint zero first because that's how obviously it reads it that it starts once you pass each waypoint it'll automatically kick you to the next waypoint so right now and it shows it right here the waypoint one we got 17 miles <clears throat> couple helicopters stationary and every time you hear that beep 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 <clears throat> means that there's uh another option available here we're gonna have other request takeoff atc devil one one requesting takeoff devil one to one you are cleared to take off from runway 07 qnh is 3011 beautiful and i see these helicopters there and um about that i would say i wish they were doing a orbit instead of just stationary like that it looks kind of fake right now even though obviously that's the real thing about helicopters right but they they are literally not even it's like look at them i don't know and it looks like they're at a pitch angle for some reason the way i i see it but you know that's just me being nitpicky. Altitude. So, another thing is that 
as far as the headings <clears throat> the waypoints it said it to get to an altitude altitude of 2000 meters which is around 6500 feet um i would say go higher if you're doing this mission go higher because if you stay at 6500 feet you will hit a mountain um by following the exact waypoints you can stay at 6500 feet but you have to deviate from from these uh waypoint lines at the end of the day you're flying the mission you can fly it however you like i'm gonna put it right here 85 and Let's keep the altitude right there. Throttle, we're going to bring it down. We don't need to have it that far. 90%. I think 90%. Good. So. Got some big bombs on the sides. While we wait. We're on this screen right here. You can have it wherever you like. This is my preference. I like having SA on for air to ground. I guess SA here for air to air. I put the SA on this one, but we were, we are going to turn on. Well, actually let's change the radio. I like doing that. So radio two is two, two fifty six point eight, And you'll know why that's, that's part of the, uh, let's change it here. So 256.8 for contacting wizard and 247.3 for contacting the ego. Now, um, let's start turning. Nice little turn. And if you keep it, if you have it at, there it is. Press space, contact wizard. What's up three one, this is devil one one, checking in. Perfect. So, our B alt, barometric, barrel, mat, ugh, the barrel at altitude, right? Hold. So, if you are gentle with your uh, with your turns, you can keep this activated. But if you're harsh, uh, chances are that it'll deactivate. That's just what it does. I'm going to keep the bank angle just a little bit more. Keep it around there. <clears throat> Level off. And we're going to turn on our blur. And you see it right there. When you have it off, it turns off. But now, <clears throat> once you turn it on, we're going to leave it there. It says timed out and it roughly takes about a minute 40 seconds a minute 50 some, somewhere around there but uh we'll, we'll keep an eye on it you'll see when it changes when it's available what else we'll activate our laser later what's this Internal wing tank fuel control switch. Hmm. Normal. Inhibit. Okay. Position lights over there. <clears throat> and let me tell you, it's nice to change the radio to channel three. It's already presets are already set for channel two and channel three. Um but what I was going to say is I really am enjoying the control panel from Wing Wing. Uh, the only thing I will say about it is that the software is a little finicky. You have to, if you leave the software on, it will freeze up on you. If you put the computer sleep mode, if you are playing another game, it, it it is finicky when you try and get back to it and then the uh the lights they just start being a little inconsistent 
um, the controls work still fine, but the software is to for it to control the lighting to match it up to the plane. So you see how the console con the console knob goes brighter. So it goes brighter also on my control panel. And I'm I will end up setting up a camera that will be facing the control panel so that you guys can see when I'm <clears throat> pressing these buttons how it controls it directly on the module. Um, I'm still configuring the console, the control panel to work with the Tomcat and I've gotten a couple good configurations there that work really well. Um, and as you saw there, it went from waypoint two to waypoint three automatically. We're keeping our barrel altitude still activated as we are just slightly uh, leaning the plane left or right. <sighs> Let's see. That, that, that. Oh, I forgot about that. I always forget about the, the air, the oxygen. As far as gas, we're good on gas. We see it here. We have 1,100 pounds on our tanks, external tanks. Bring it this way. Leave it right here. I think that'll work just fine. Oh, see? I forgot. So once it's it's warmed up, you'll see all these other buttons available. And if you hit VV SLV, you get this. I still don't know what the VVLs uh, what these mean, but if you hit it again, it's the two options. And then once you Nope. Once you move, see that diamond moving around means that this section, this screen is what's activated. Let's bring it to our right a little bit. So I'll make sure that we are aligned. Okay. So that being said, now we can move our targeting pod, right? We have a couple options. You can go wide or narrow. And then in narrow, you can go right here, zoom out or zoom in on wide mode. Zoom out, zoom in. I don't know why it's not working right now. You can freeze the frame. We change that again. 180 pounds. Okay. We're looking good. And then since we don't need it right now, we're going to put it on standby mode. All right. So on our HUD, what do we see? E3, HK. So waypoint three, we have to check in with Diego. Diego's gonna tell us a couple things. We'll fly to waypoint four, then waypoint five. Waypoint five is where we have our targets. So we have to, I'm gonna keep it at 400 knots. Once we start getting close to waypoint five, I I will start slowing down the speed just because um, there's a something I noticed on the mission, which this is why we're doing this video to give feedback about it. So should I tell you guys now or ah, screw it? I'll say it. I feel like certain options when they say you know to interact they're a little too slow 
So you end up passing the target area before the action or the call to action to attack. Oh, we'll end up, I'll end up showing you. Um, Point three in point three miles. There we go. Hit spacebar. Diego to one, this is Devil One One checking in. Devil One One, this is Diego Two One. I'm glad they sent the Marine for the job. What do you have for me, Diego? There's an insurgent convoy on the Russian side. My bet is that they're going to cross the borders to create trouble in Georgia. I need you to blow up two bridges to block the axis. And it's not actually a bet. It's a valid info. But we'll also be losing an axis to the other side. We got to follow the orders, devil. Reach out to me once you're 20 miles away from the bridge. Copy, Diego. level off right here so 20 miles is the call uh, the the contact diego right which is fine the problem comes when you get to those 20 miles and it gives you a set of instructions to do i feel like it took too long so, we're going to get to our target, cool, but I don't want to get shot down again. So, let's see, we'll probably end up, once locating, I'll turn around, I'll bank either left or right, and then... Um, attacking the the bridges as directed by Diego So, I figured I'd speed that up because nothing happens between waypoint 3 and 5. So, we're just going to arm, air to ground, back to SA, and get our blur on, back to on. And in a couple of seconds, we're going to be talking with Diego. When you activate your laser, if you look here, it says laser arm. There you go. Diego, this is Devil. I'm 20 miles away from the bridge. The convoy is not moving yet. Slew your targeting pod to the bridge and confirm that you got visual on it. The bridge with the train rails is the main target. Roger. Alright, so we can do SMA right there. We got our bridge because we chose waypoint target and it 
automatically goes there so we can go narrow you can see your, the bridge come on takes a minute see yeah guy I got visual on the rail bridge copy devil confirm that you got eyes on the jeep part on the side of the road Jeep park on the side. Is it not swimming in? Come on. It's right there. For some I got vigil on the Jeep. That's the bridge. Now I want you to follow the rails to the west until you spot the insurgents' convoy. Copy. Alright, so... Based on that... You have to follow the road. So... Let's do this, right? You follow this road here, and you see here, there they are. I got visual on the convoy. There's, There's a the T-55 tank and the BMP on the front. That's the convoy. Keep your eyes on them. Copy. And then this is where it takes a little bit of time in my eyes. We gotta wait till they start moving. We're eight miles to the target. And there's AAA, remember that. So. I'm gonna try and stay 10 miles from the, tar the target. The targeting pod does an amazing job at keeping track of what you uh, what you're looking at. Convoy started moving, so Diego, the convoy is moving. Perfect. Getting ready to strike, so we're gonna mark once we align a little bit better again. Waypoint five still. Let's target that. Nine miles to target. Perfect. Devil, strike the bridge now. I repeat, strike the bridge now. Copy, Diego. I'm going for it. Now let's get a little bit of speed. It tells you 24, 23, 22. And this is because it's on CCIP, I believe, but... Release. It's on laser. Trying to keep track of it. Oh. Good hit, devil. I can start oh, the shit. 
Negative. Devil, do not strike the convoy. Strike the bridge next to the one you just blew up. The ah. parked on the bridge. Copy the head up. So. <laughs> we were able to catch one hit on the bridge. But you see what I'm saying as far as a convoy. Maybe I was thinking that, you know, during your route, you go straight, you get it, you hit it. That, and again, that's probably just me. That would make it too boring thinking about it. So I like the fact that you have to turn around. You have to evade. I forget about these missiles and it fired on me and I didn't hear anything. So. Yeah, maybe. Um, go a little bit lower next time. Try and go a little bit lower. I know on the briefing it says uh, 22 meters. So maybe on the next time I'll try that going really low, but those bombs are really big. So if you go that low, I don't know. I don't think it's a good idea. Regardless, um, we got the targeting pod. So that's why we were using the targeting pod. Maybe just keeping it on CCIP and call it a day, right? I don't know. So let's see. Headless, headless man. Maybe I'll do another video with, um, with the full mission completed. But until now, that's what I got. And I figured I'd just put that out there for now. Um, the mission is working. I'm, I've gotten shot down every single time. But again, I've been experiencing it. I've been testing it out, trying it out. These are <clears throat> what I figured out. We were able to hit, not to mention I had to learn how to use the targeting pod. Um, and I did a quick roundup on it, so it worked pretty well. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit that like, hit that sub, and don't forget to hit that bell. And I'll catch you all on the next video. Peace.